There's been a lot of talk over the years about the metal masses I use and what, if, what effect, if any, they're having as opposed to, let's say, for example, here, what I'm going to demonstrate is these two aluminum blocks. The size of these blocks are 6.2 centimeters by 5.8 centimeters, and the separation in between the two of them right here is one centimeter. And here's a little coil right here, which is tuned to 92 megahertz. That's the SRF of it. And here I have an AV plug with a red lead and this ground connection. Well, I'm sorry, it's not a ground connection. It's just a mere lead going over here and clipping to the rubber on this board. So you can see here I've got this offset off of the cathode end of the AV plug, the red lead, the 92 megahertz coil, this block of aluminum, the only thing connected to it is that 92 megahertz coil, and here we have this block of aluminum and one lead out of this HP8648. And what I'm putting into that block, single leaded, is 850 millivolts EMF at 44 megahertz, no modulation. And here we can see up here on the spectrum analyzer, if we look at it, we can see that we have 44 megahertz and there's no other garbage around there. What we have over here on the right side is the beginning of the FM stereo band. So there's the signal we're picking that up again off of a short piece of coax with a pigtail on the end which is just laying here on the bench so it's picking the radiation up off of the coil and that mass. Now so you, what you want to say is okay what uh, What's that mask got to do with it? I've asked this question before. And let me answer it this way. I've taken and measured, you can calculate the capacity with the measurements I gave you if you want to do it that way. Also I use this instrument right here which is quite accurate. And I physically measured the capacity of those two blocks with the signal generator disconnected and it came out to measure 9.71 picofarad. And 9.71 picofarad, if you want to run the math on it, comes out to something like about 372 ohms of capacitive reactance at 44 megahertz. So, uh, let me show you the difference now. What I've done is you can see the intensity of this red lead right here with that coil, 92 megahertz, the two aluminum blocks separated by one centimeter, and single lead feeding this side. So now what I have here is an NPO 10 picofarad capacitor. And I'm going to take and remove the coil from this aluminum block, hook it up with a connector, hook the generator into it, and see what the response is. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, now I've done nothing to my signal generator. We're still running 44 megahertz, 850 millivolts, and there's the single lead. You can see the lead coming out of the generator. Single leaded. This guy is just laying here. Going into this NPO 10, 10 picofarad. It's connecting to the 92 megahertz coil. Going into the AV plug. I still have my little offset clip lead on it, but guess what? We don't have any signal. We don't see one iota of light coming out of that LED. So now, is 10 picofarads 10 picofarads? In other words, why should it make a difference if we have 10 picofarads of capacity through two large masses versus 10 picofarads of capacity in this small little NPO capacitor? Now if I increase my output, I might get a feeble light on this. I may be able to go up to about 1.5 volts and barely see this, but that's not the point. The point is why and what is ha taking place between these two blocks of aluminum that equal about 9.71 picofarads of capacity that will drive this lead to near full intensity 
where a direct connection of a 10 picofarad capacitor will drive it zip. So anyway, I wanted to show this demo because everybody asks about the mass. Let me go ahead and hook it back up again and we'll go back to the way it was.